Aloha from Hawaii. My name's Sam Potter, and today I'm asking myself a question that I haven't asked since I was a kid. Is it wrong to kill a fish? For many of us who live in Hawaii, we rely on the resources of our island. And for me, being raised by a spear fisherman, hunting, cleaning, and cooking fish was as routine as making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But unlike making a sandwich, this process came with responsibility. If I was to kill something and eat it, I was filled with a great sense of pride. But if I was to kill something and waste its life, I felt sick to my stomach with shame. Which is kind of strange, because in both scenarios, a fish dies, and yet the emotions couldn't be more different. Which kind of begs the question, is it wrong to kill a fish? So, I'm gonna meet up with one of the wisest, kindest, most beautiful, incredible people that I know, my other mother, Kimmy Warner. And together, we're gonna go diving, we're gonna hopefully get some fish, we're gonna cook them up, and during this whole process, I'm gonna keep this question of mine at the front of mind. So we have arrived at Mama Kimmy's. Wait. Yeah, I need lead and I need spears. Well, can we just take um, okay. one three prong and one spear gun? Yeah, we can trade. Trade off, right? Yeah. What kind of fish do you want? Well, tell, tell Uncle Sam because he's going to help me get big. Menpachi and Kala. Kala? You want a Kala? I heard of Menpachi. Okay. Menpachi and Kala. You think you can do that? I think we can get those. What color are Menpachi? The goal for today is Menpachi, Kala, Taco, Uku. These are the fish we're trying to achieve. Menpachi are small red fish. In Hawaiian, it's called an uu. They cruise in schools, not really cruise, they dart around in schools. And we'll be using the three prong for that fish. We'll be trying to shoot a kala. Probably use a three prong or the gun for that. This is also a possibility. What we'll definitely be trying to get with this guy is uku. They cruise in like 60 feet of water and deeper, sometimes shallower. They're bigger fish, they're predator fish, but this is the ocean. So we go in with intentions, but we come out with whatever the ocean's providing that day. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Um, do you have a kui for me? Possible. Oh, do I. <laughs> Shark bit my shaft in half when I stole an uku, which I never had happened before. Uh -huh. But I felt like I, I should do something with that shaft because I never had it done before. <laughs> where a shark bit it in half, so I made a whole bunch of kuis out of it. Wow. Really shaft. That's so cool. I'll make a kui out of it. Isn't that clever? I've never heard of a shark biting a... Oh, I was just out, now, yeah. Where were you? Not too far from where we're going. <laughs> this is the last piece of my puzzle. I, we might just see you in the water from right here and now. We might shoot nothing else. And you'll just see us in the water and we'll walk you through the dive. Because we can't show you exactly where she died. I don't even want to give hints. No hints. No driving scenes. You hear that? No driving <laughs> scenes. Take that, Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your weapon, Kimmy. Now, before we even get out of the surf line, Kimmy finds an opportunity and immediately retracts her decision to take the three prong. This fish was something special and Kimmy wasn't gonna take any chances. We call these Kumu. And although it may not have been on our grocery list, they are one of the best eating fish in Hawaii. Seeing a lot of life on the bottom, I also took a kick down. And through this school of veke, I spotted one of the biggest kumus I've ever seen in my life. But I had no interest in shooting him. Although there are no laws or bag limits in place to protect these fish, most divers I know, including Kimmy, limit themselves when it comes to harvesting kumu. So for today, one is enough. And killing another would have felt wrong. Ta'ape, on the other hand, are also good eating and absolutely thriving here in Hawaii. So much so in fact, that this newly introduced species has become quite harmful to our ecosystem. So when I shoot two with one shot here, I'm overjoyed. 
And when one rips off, I chalk it up as eagle food and simply head right back down to get another. On my way up, I found myself pondering the drastic contradiction of my recent actions, which kind of left the question, is it wrong to kill a fish swimming around my head? However, no time to contemplate now. Spearfishing is by no means easy or safe. So all my focus needs to be on success and safety. I got friends to look out for and a buddy to feed. I tucked myself into a small little crack and a perfect size collar came swimming by. It was a low shot, but it held just fine thanks to the thick skin. And just like that, our first fish on Buddy's grocery list was secured. Which meant we were free to partake in what is usually described as the funnest part of any dive. Trenpachi or uu hunting. I think what makes them so fun is that they're actually very fast. They dart around and make things really challenging. But they also provide plenty of opportunity. With a stringer full of reds, it was off the deeper water to hunt uku. And it's here that things get challenging. Reason one, we are now hunting between 50 and 70 feet of water. Reason two, fish are a lot harder to find. And reason three, even if we do find the fish, these fish are clever and cautious. So when Mama Kimmy finally finds one, I'm not even a little bit excited. Do you see anything we want to kill? Oh my god. It's a little blue. Uh, a little uku. Sweet. Fish, fish, fish. Is the uku big enough? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go take a look. Okay, so Kimmy says there are mu down here, which are considered by almost every diver in Hawaii to be the absolute hardest fish to shoot. So I'm not even really thinking about that. But I am optimistic about this small uku she mentioned. So I dive into this little divot in the reef where I can hide myself and immediately start letting out some grunts, a common trick us divers like to use to create curiosity. I look up and see the school moo, and then look to my right and see the uku, which is already starting to come in on those grunts. I start scratching the reef here, and to my surprise, when I look up, it's not the uku that came in too close, but the moo. I start to head up, I'm already celebrating when I realize my shot was low. The chance that this fish will rip off is high. Luckily, I got to him, and the celebration begins. And as moms do, they celebrate. Wow, what you doing? I cannot in my life be more proud of you. Oh, and I am so proud of you. I am you. so proud of you for your family. Mom and Kimmy you. was so <laughs> kind and warm and heartfelt. And it was just such a beautiful moment that her reaction alone made this the fish of a lifetime. And with all the fish we need, we headed home to make some dinner. Uncle Sam got that just for you. What is it? Oh, it's that one. A cola. It's a buddy side one too, just for you. What's oh. this one? Oh. 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 <laughs> Go straight for the ta'ape. Ape. ape. Oh. My what? pachi. My <laughs> pachi. Bust it out. Oh my god. Bust it out. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh. a nice pachi. Those are eyeballs. Yeah. The uh -uh. moo have the human teeth, the molars. You see that? My mom looked in there. Yeah, look in there. A lot of blood. Hmm? Can I kill the eyeball? Um, you can touch it. But can I kill it? You can, you can do that when it's cooked, okay? Then you can eat the eyeballs. All no, right. I'm just going to push it down really hard. Okay. Cheese. Now he wants another one too. Say cheese. 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 <laughs> Oh. I, as you know, named this episode, Is It Wrong to Kill a Fish? I was posed the question already knowing my answer is going to be no, but then I have that moment right off the bat. I'm like, wow, it actually would have felt wrong to me 
to kill that fish. Like, I think it's a question where the answer sh is, to, is gonna be different for everyone. <laughs> and I don't really like to, I think the obvious answer for me would be no. Like, of course it's not wrong to kill a fish. It's almost a more humble observation for me to say we aren't separate from nature. You know, a lot of times when you think of like man and the ecosystem or man saving the ecosystem, you start to put yourself above the ecosystem. Whereas for me, it's like we are just another species of animals. We are an animal. We are nature. Just being out, able to like go out, immerse myself in an ecosystem, truly, truly get to know it, get to understand it, respect it, appreciate it, and then take this beautiful form of nature and put it into my body. I just can't feel more right than that. Mm -hmm. There's definitely nothing that felt wrong about that dive and there's nothing that's gonna feel wrong about sitting around this table with you and your son and <laughs> eating this fish. Proud mama moment. Mahalo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> I wish you were around every time I shot a fish. I almost just like drooled mm. onto myself. It was so good. From Hawaii with Aloha, what is something that Hawaii has instilled in you that you would like to pay forward to anyone who may be watching? I have to say the main thing that Hawaii has instilled in me is just such a deep level of respect. You know, like respect for, for other people, which is why when you ask me questions, I'm like, hey, I could tell you my perspective, but to each their own, there is a type of like tolerance and openness, I think, to to others and I think that's all respect but also just a respect to the land, the ocean, the plants, the animals that nourish us, all of that and I think that respect also just has a way of transforming into, into humility, into just being humble because that is a part of respect, right? Is being humble enough to respect everything else around you and know that you are not above anyone or anything. And, um, and that's what I love about Hawaii. I love that, that, that being showy or braggy or boasty or thinking that you know it all, that's not gonna get you anywhere here. And I love that about this place. I love the fact that being a contributor, being of service, being humble, like letting your actions and your attitude do the talking for you, that's how you become a part of the community. That's how you reach the benefits of being here. And so that, if anything, is what I just wish the whole world could have a little more of because I think it would be a better place. Inspired by our adventures with Kimmy, we're releasing the Makai Kind Tea. This shirt is from Hawaii, of Hawaii, for Hawaii, and designed for anybody around the world who loves the ocean. We're only printing these shirts for three days, so if you want one, you better get your order in quick. The product is linked to the post, so go get yours now. Mahalo Kimmy for doing this episode. Go check out her YouTube channel. She makes awesome content. Olukai, mahalo for supporting these stories. Keep an eye out for a very, very special film coming out next weekend, and Kimmy's podcast coming out the weekend after that. Aloha from Hawaii.